guys. Today I have a book called I'm Not Just a Scribble. It is written and illustrated by Dan Diane Elber. So she wrote the words and drew the pictures. So what do you think this book's going to be about with our scribble in the front? What do you think scribble's going to do today? Let's see. Let's find out. This is a story about Scribble, whose lines would cross and wiggle. Tiny loops would start with him small. Bigger swirls would make him tall. So see, he started just as a little itty bitty guy and he grew to this big, tall Scribble. Let's see. He could be shades of green or baby blue, even crazy colors, we loved them too. Choosing bright colors made him feel free. You never knew which one he would be. So it looks like he can change colors. Sometimes he, he wanted to be different colors. Would it be fun to change colors? I would like that. That'd be pretty cool. If you were happy, you could change to pink. If you were sad, you could change to blue. It would be fun. Then one day, Scribble took a short walk where he found a house and stopped to talk. Hello, said Scribble. It's such a great day. I thought I'd come over and we could play all day. So it looks like he's trying to play with the house. You think the house is going to let him play? Let's see. The house never saw anything like Scribble before, but he was curious enough to find out a bit more. So even though he was grumpy and didn't want to play, he still managed to grump. What are you anyway? Do you think that was nice to ask Scribble what he was? wasn't kind. Scribble was confused and didn't know what to say. So he said to the house, I'm just a scribble. Is that okay? It's not okay, said the house. You don't look right. Your lines aren't straight and your colors are too bright. <gasps> what? Was house being very kind? But color is fun, Scribble said. I can show you why. Just give me a chance. Please let me try. No, said the house. You cannot stay. You're nothing like me. Now go away. Oh, how do you think that made Scribble feel? Do you think Scribble's going to be happy or is he going to be sad? Let's find out. Hearing those woods made Scribble so sad. A tear on his ran down his face. He felt really bad. So those words hurt him. Did you know that our words can hurt people sometimes? If we don't say the right words to a friend, we can hurt their hearts. Just like House said to Scribble, it made him really sad. But I won't be upset, he proclaimed that day. So he changed his colors and went on his way. So he was sad for just a second, but then he decided he was going to shake it off. He wasn't going to listen to those people's words, and he was going to have a better day. So even if people do say mean stuff to us, we can shake it off, and we can remember that it's okay. Sometimes people just have a bad day, and they say some mean stuff. He continued his walk and soon found the sun. Along with the colors, they could all have some fun. Oh, I'm sorry, along with the clouds, they could all have some fun. So the sun and the clouds now. But the sun saw him coming and told him to stop. Your lines are too messy. Oh, we don't have a mop. Turn around, little scribble, he went on to say. Go back to your home, please. Just stay away. Uh-oh. The sun and the clouds don't want to play either. You think that's going to make scribble happy or sad? But you're not being nice, Scribble shouted, quite mad. The fact that I'm different doesn't make me so bad. My colors are special and my lines are just fine. If you give me a chance, we could have a great time. So he's kind of upset now. He's a little mad. Should we ask him to play? They hurtled to... Oh, they huddled to discuss. It's fun with more friends. It's usually just us. And although they were worried this wouldn't work out, being mean to Scribble wasn't what they were about. So maybe they're going to let him play. They realized they were being kind of mean by judging him by what he looked like. So maybe they'll let him play. Let's see. Scribble was surprised at what he saw the next day. 
all the drawings were there and they wanted to play. Even Rainbow showed up and he never came by. He was standing right there near the sun in the sky. We are so sorry, said the clouds as they held back their tears. Please come play, said the house, or please come play, said the house. We haven't had any fun in years. So maybe they just were upset and being mean because they hadn't had a lot of fun and they didn't know they still could. Let's see if they play with um, Scribble now. I forgive you, Scribble shouted, as he did a happy dance. They were so grateful, he gave them another chance. So you see how everybody was mean to Scribble, but then the next day they apologized and they fixed it and they made it all better and they let him play. So he forgave them. It's okay to forgive your friends if they are um, honest with you and if they apologize. It's okay to play with them again. You don't have to stay mad forever. Um, Scribble gathered up the colors and played with everyone. So he got all of his different colors and played with them. Blue, purple, green, and yellow. It was all so much fun. So he shared his colors with them. So they could have a happy life too. Look what they created when they finally came together. The art was so beautiful and it was better than ever. So look, now the house has color to it. The sun has the right colors. Even the rainbow has colors, the clouds. They work together to make a beautiful picture. And that's the end of our book. They, they put some more scribbles here. So that was a fun book. We learned about how you can't just look at somebody and decide if they're fun or not. You have to play with them and you have, you have to get to know someone. You can't just look at them and decide you don't like them. Um, and when everybody worked together, they were able to make a beautiful picture. So if, you're, if you work together with people, you can make a beautiful friendship. You can play with all the fun things and you can have a really good time. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy listening to it. Have a good day.